Hi everyone, my name is Paravi and welcome back to Fushi Wellbeing Spring Equinox Retreat. Today we're going to be doing part two of the series and if you remember from part one where we were just starting to wake ourselves up, start to move from a little bit more of a grounded energy, today we're going to be sifting into a little bit more movement. We're going to start to move around any stagnant energy that we might have in our bodies and start to bring in a little bit more flow, start to prepare us for this spring equinox. I'm really excited to share this class with you and I really hope you enjoy it. Let's find a nice comfortable seated position. Your legs are crossed, your hands are on your knees, your eyes are closed. Perhaps like me, you're sitting on a block, allowing your hips to sit a tiny bit higher, lengthening through your spine and allowing yourself to breathe better. Bringing your awareness to your body and your breath. Notice how you're feeling in this present moment. And start to notice where in your body your breath is going. Placing both hands onto your belly, allowing to deeper connect with self. Let's start to send our breath all the way down to our belly. As we inhale, belly rises. And as we exhale, belly softens. Staying with this breath. Perhaps even setting an intention for your practice today. See if you can relax your shoulders down a little bit. Releasing any tension from your body. Take a nice breath in and a gentle breath out. As we release our hands down by our sides, gently bring your shoulders all the way up to your ears and sigh and drop, releasing any tension. Shoulders all the way up to your ears. Exhale to sigh and drop. One last time. Inhale, shoulders up to ears. And exhale, sigh and drop. Releasing that block from underneath you if you had one. And gently finding your way to the tops of your mat. Standing into Dasana. Big toes touching, heels slightly wider apart. Hands at heart centre. Inhale, send your arms all the way up to rise. Exhale, hinge from your hips, forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Step that right leg and left leg back, finding high plank as we lower down knees, then chest, then chin. Untucking your toes and rippling up through your chest as we find our baby cobra, squeezing those shoulder blades together. And as we next exhale, tuck those toes under, send those hips towards your heels and find your downward facing dog. Take a breath in here and a breath out. As we next inhale, send that right leg up nice and high, bending right knee, stacking it over left hip. And let's make three big circles with that knee. 
on the third circle, draw that knee to nose and then send that right leg nice and high. Before we send that right foot in between your hand, left foot flat on the mat at a 45 degree angle. As we sweep our arms up into our Vibrasana one, bending into that right knee, strengthening through that back leg. Take a breath in. And as we exhale, let's shift into our Vibrasana to our warrior two. Hips are parallel to the long part of your mat. Inhale, reach your right arm forwards. And as you exhale, take that right arm all the way back, reversing your warrior. Breathing in here. And as we exhale, that right forearm onto right thigh, left arm reaches all the way up and over, extended side stretch. Take a breath in. And as we exhale, come back into your warrior two. As you windmill your arms, gently find your way into your downward facing dog. Take a breath in. This time your left leg comes up nice and high, bending left knee, stacking over right hip. Let's take three big circles, opening through that hip space. And on that third circle, bring that left knee all the way into nose and then send that left leg nice and high towards the sky, stepping it forwards, right foot this time at a 45 degree angle, Vibrasana one left side, bending into that left knee. Take a breath in here. And as you gently exhale, let's find our way into our warrior two on the left side. Hips are parallel to the long parts of your mats. Inhale, as we reach our left arm forwards and exhale, send that left arm all the way back. Maybe that right hand reaches behind your back, grazing your thigh. Breathing in. And as we exhale, left forearm onto left thigh, right arm reaches all the way up and over, extended side stretch. Taking a nice breath in here as we unravel back into our Vibrasana 2. And windmill your hands either side of left foot, step it back, find your high plank. Lower down, knees, chest, chin or Chaturanga. Inhaling into your up dog. And as we exhale, let's find our child's pose. Abhakasana. From here, let's gently transition so that we're seated. We're going to find our Janusarasana. So that left leg is lengthened. Draw that right knee in towards that left thigh. Inhale as you reach your arms up and as you exhale, forward fold, reaching towards that left foot. And let's unravel. And switch sides, lengthen through that right leg, left foot into right thigh. Inhale as we reach our arms up and as you exhale, forward fold. Gently unravel, bring those legs out to meet each other. And then gently come to laying down on your back. Your feet are hip width apart, feet flat onto the ground. See if you can graze your third finger with the backs of your heels. As we find our way into our supported bridge pose. So get your block if you've got one or some books or cushions and place them underneath the small of your back. And you've got an option to play around with the block to find which height feels better for you. As we rest here, embracing the beauty of this pose.
Allow your body to get heavy, the block will support you. Maybe close down the eyes and just stay with your breath. Take a breath in and as we exhale, let's remove that block from underneath us, lower your body down and gently hug your knees into chest, massaging into that lower back. Release that left leg, hold onto that right knee and send it all the way across to the left hand side, coming into a supine twist, extending that right arm all the way out, breathing into this space. Slowly come back to centre, give that right knee a little squeeze and gently let it go. Bring that left knee into chest this time, nice squeeze and let's send that left knee all the way across to the right hand side. Extend that left arm out to the side as we breathe into this twist. Gently come back to centre on your exhale. Let's hug both those knees into chest. And let's find our way back to a comfortable seated position. Legs are crossed, your hands are on your knees, your eyes are closed. Come back to our breath, to our bodies. Taking a nice deep breath in. And a big sigh out, hands come to heart centre. And let's seal off our practice with a final breath in through nose. And out through mouth. Bowing your heads to your hands, thanking yourself for finding the time to come and practice today. <laughs>